this, I'm not gonna lie, is an exciting day, and welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boots, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the ramp, and we are back at Black Point. For those of you who've been around the channel for a while, you may realize it's been a while since we've been down here, but this weekend's been a crazy weekend, and we are actually filming at five different boat ramps and five different inlets, which things just get wild sometimes, and this is one of those fun weekends where things have gotten wild. But we are back down here, you can tell it's not the greatest day. If you really look at the ramp, you can tell it's wet, it's been raining, and we're still down here, but, and somebody's giving her hell. Oh, it, oh my gosh, it's this Jeep. Whoa, wifey's jumping into action. This Jeep's sliding back down the ramp. They were trying to pull out, and things went wrong fast. We've got the kid on the dock crying, and I feel absolutely horrible for that. And I can't believe how fast the wife jumped into action on this one. She literally leaped off the dock, into the boat, and already knew something was wrong, and she was going to have to get this thing going. And man, this Jeep, oh man. I thought they were gonna be good too. This is sinking. Oh my gosh. This is absolute insanity. It's done. The Jeep is down. Down for the count. This one's a little bit crazy. So these guys backed up to try and pull this boat out. And things just went wrong. The ramp was wet, the Jeep went down. And this one, I mean, Jeep Wranglers don't have the greatest towing capacity already. They had aftermarket rims and tires, which I'm assuming for sure are going to absolutely adjust the towing capacity again. And this boat may have just been on the edge of that already. With the slick ramp, it was it. That's all it took. They were done. I'm still, like, I'm absolutely amazed, though, how fast his wife jumped into action, jumped off this dock, and got into the boat, knowing that they were likely going to get have to start this boat up. So we've already lost the guy pull off the stern of this trailer. I just heard a beep, so I'm assuming she, she's working on getting this thing started. Her, her guy's still at the bow of this boat on the trailer, and it looks like they're trying to release it. And that's what they got to do here. They got to get it released, but I don't know if any of that's going to save this. I mean, the Jeep is buried to the roof man this is crazy we see this stuff happen multiple times every couple weeks it feels like and it's still wild to me to watch every single time as a boater you just find it hard to believe it happens and I don't know what's out there in the water something's out there in the water stalking them too like playing with them like hey guys <laughs> Welcome back to Black Point, and uh, yeah, we just hope you're falling in. And the husband's sitting out here in the water, and something's going crazy. Oh, man. I wouldn't want to be him, or probably anybody else in this party right now. So, we've got the boat started. We've got the boat released, so wifey's going to pull it off, and... Ugh... I gotta imagine this is gonna be a wild one for her. And that'll even be something else to watch. It's just how she handles the boat off of this, but like, you can't hold anything against her right now. I'm assuming this is not her normal position in the boat. And just the fact that she even jumped into absolute insanity. Like, she, she did not hesitate for one second, knowing that they were likely gonna have to get this boat off the trailer, and she just dived in and. She's uh, no matter what happens here, she gets smack into the dock. In my opinion, she's gonna handle it like a boss because she just jumped in so fast on this one. So she's pulling off. We've got this off the trailer. Our Jeep is still sunk. But I'm curious now. So I heard somebody in the dock say, Hey, if you got a strap, I'll pull you out. And I'm imagining it's this Dodge Ram that's just pulled up here. And by the fact they're backing up there and security is getting out of the way, that's exactly what's about to happen. So, wifey, I'm assuming, is going to have to keep the boat off the dock. We're going to. 
This will be a first. So we've seen this happen multiple times on this channel now. I've never seen another pedestrian Good Samaritan vehicle pull a vehicle out. Every time we've had a tow truck called. But this Dodge Ram's pulling up and we're gonna see if we can get this one pulled off. We're good. And Wifey really is doing a pretty good job of keeping the boat off the dock and off the trailer. And security's kind of pulling back up. We're kind of taking a look at just assessing the whole situation here, but... Our crews pulled up with the Dodge Ram. They absolutely look determined. They're going to try and pull this thing out. So they've grabbed a line. I'm assuming we're trying to get this attached to the truck. We've got somebody in the water already. I'm assuming that somebody who's with the Jeep. I can't imagine just a random person who's jumping down that are trying to do this one, but they could be. So they're walking up the ramp. We're gonna have to get them a line and they're gonna have to dive down and get this hooked up to the Jeep. And of course we're getting shot blocked here at the end, but this crew already realizes that they see the camera, they're like, yeah, let's get out of the way. We already know <laughs> things are not good. What? Oh no, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> They already are working on it, and they've almost got this hooked up. I'm uh, light it up in the comments below, guys. Will this Dodge Ram be able to pull this Jeep out? I mean, this is still going to be a nut situation on a vehicle that is full of water. So it looks like we got the guy, he's diving down right now, trying to get it hooked up. And I gotta imagine he has it. He's swimming away. This is still a, just a crazy one. These guys look like they probably have it hooked up. And our guy's hooking this on the tow hitch. I, this one's still kind of wild. I mean, it really is that we're really going to try and pull this out with a civilian vehicle. But we're going to do it. It's coming, man. And these guys have it set up. They're ready, I guess. And here we go. I hope and pray this vehicle does not wind up back in the water. Because this could easily just happen the same thing. They can start pulling, start sliding, and the next thing we know, this truck's in the water as well. He's starting to pull it. And... They're not getting very well. It looks like the reverse lights are on. He's backing it up. So we're still in prep stages, it appears here. Here we go. Let's see how this one ends. So the Ram's going for it. This one's just going to surprise me. I mean, we've only seen tow trucks do this. I've not seen, as we mentioned, just a personal vehicle do this. They're starting to pull. He's kind of trying to wait to get the lines taut here and making sure. I mean, he's got to do this part slow.
And our driver, he looks like he's questioning the lines. So I'm assuming he's going to come back and check them and see if how this is holding up. And he's given a couple kicks. Realize there's probably a few inches still of slack. He's going to have to pull it tight and then start to pull out. I mean, I still... This one... The Jeep's got to have a ton of water in it. The actual weight of this Jeep's got to be insanity. So they're pulling up slightly if this other truck would just get the heck out of the way. Hopefully security alerts this other truck. Up oh, there, they're gone. To what's going on here. So here we go. The Dodge Ram trying to pull the Jeep out that sunk. My mind's blown. I don't know how to express this more. Oh my god. They're going to pull this thing out. Unbelievable. Over the, unbelievable. Usually we see this happen where they have to go get a tow truck. But this crew has successfully done it. They're pulling this out. And going to save this Jeep. Here at Black Point. This one is absolutely nuts. <laughs> My man's opening the rear tailgate. Let's get the water out of this thing, is all he's thinking. Oh, man. This is one heck of a save and one heck of a way to welcome the Miami Boat Ramps channel back to Black Point Marina. I mean, they're going to pull this thing out of here, and these guys are going to make it out. And they're going to make it out of here. And I, I guess we are as well. I don't know how else to end this one other than that. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Holliver, a man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet, Miami, Florida. And if you haven't already, drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.